so hello everyone welcome back now let us start problem number 2.46 which is on page number 202 of griffith's electrodynamics so it says that we have a spherical conductor of radius a carry the charge q it is surrounded by linear dielectric material of susceptibility given out uh, to the radius b here is the dielectric medium dielectric medium so we need to find the energy for this configuration so energy as you know that it is equal to integration half epsilon naught e square d tau for a non dielectric medium but when we introduce a dielectric material inside a conductor then energy becomes half epsilon epsilon r epsilon not epsilon r e square d tau this is for dielectric medium or further we can write it as half epsilon e square d tau when we when we talk about I, I i can not uh, denote it as w all right uh, when we talk about uh, dielectric medium we write this energy so uh, as we know that inside a uh, uh, electric field e, here e is electric field i hope you know that so electric field inside a conductor inside a conductor is equal to zero and uh, or you can say that r less than a electric field is zero for r greater than a and less than b we have dielectric medium so electric field in that case is given by q upon 4 pi epsilon where epsilon is equal to epsilon not into epsilon r per permeability of free space and in the uh, dielectric medium both we can um, uh, combine them and write epsilon here and epsilon r square and in the direction of r cap so this is the electric field in this region now uh, then electric field in r greater than b region it is as there is no uh, el, uh, dielectric medium outside b so we'll be directly writing 4 pi epsilon not r square r cap i can write it as e2 e1 and you remember charge is on the surface whenever charge uh, when whenever we give the charge to the conductor it uh, distribute it distribute uniformly over a uh, surface of the conductor i hope you know that that's why electric field inside the conductor is zero so just putting the formula inside the uh, putting the values inside the formula we get uh, will will apply limits here all right so for limits a to b we get q upon 4 pi epsilon because dielectric medium is there whole square with epsilon d tau this epsilon is is from the formula itself all right plus half uh, epsilon not uh, why epsilon not because there is no dielectric medium outside that region so it is q upon 4 pi epsilon not r square whole square and this is d tau so now for solving it Uh, it's just simple mathematics you can solve it and remember what is d tau in spherical polar coordinates it is volume element so volume element is r square dr sin theta d theta and d phi integration obviously so uh, when we when you uh, uh, you can write directly it as 4 pi so it becomes 4 pi r square dr because theta limits are 0 to pi and phi limits are 2 pi uh, 0 to 2 pi that's why it becomes uh, 4 pi so on putting values we get 4 pi outside into q square upon 16 pi square from making it whole square and uh, uh, it, it becomes epsilon one epsilon got cancelled it uh, let we are left with only one epsilon and one integration a to b R square, 
r raised to power 4 sorry because r square is here one square got 4 r square dr plus similarly q square upon 16 pi square one epsilon got cancelled epsilon not got got cancelled and we get 4 pi from here and one half also and integration from this limit this limit i i left it is from b to infinity because uh, outside the sphere we can go to our uh, to infinity now so uh, then b to infinity 1 upon r square r is to power 4 r square dr so on solving further we get uh, q square upon 8 i can directly write because cancelling 4 pi by this pi and 1 4 from here 8 pi epsilon into uh, one r square left so integration over a to b upon r square dr plus half q square i can write it as 8 pi epsilon naught from b to infinity 1 upon r square dr now uh, making integral uh, doing an in integration we get 8 pi epsilon sorry this is epsilon pardon me so 8 pi epsilon into minus 1 upon r limits from a to b plus 1 upon 8 pi epsilon naught q square 1 upon r negative b to infinity so we get energy is equal to q square upon 8 pi epsilon this is epsilon 1 upon a minus 1 upon b i just reverse the limits because of the minus sign plus q square upon 8 pi epsilon naught due to this infinity and due to this it is 1 upon b so further you can you can reduce it into uh, susceptibility also 8 pi epsilon and uh, taking 8 pi epsilon common so that i can get uh, 1 plus susceptibility over there uh, 1 upon a minus 1 upon b plus here i get epsilon upon epsilon naught 1 upon b so i can directly write it as um, q square upon 8 pi epsilon 1 upon a minus 1 upon b plus 1 plus chi e oh sorry 1 plus chi e oh, it's just simplification the answer uh, we already got here only now uh, so if, if uh, someone asks you what is energy configuration this is the energy configuration this is the perfect answer if you want to simplify more and uh, work according to the question that he has given chi over here and we need to uh, according to question this is the answer all right so that's all for this video the main thing is here here is that for a uh, you need to write electric field for a dielectric medium for a uh, 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 for a uh, non dielectric medium and then you need to know the formula though so i re recommend you to read the previous pages and uh, um, make sure that you remember the formulas carefully and uh, keep them in mind uh, if you uh, if you recall them in future so that's all for this video see you in next video bye bye thank you